<laughs> yeah. Oh. All right, so what brings you in today? Um, I've got just upper, mid, and lower back pain. Okay. Yeah. And then you got some pain underneath the scapula that yes. feels just deep. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then um, how did it start? Like, what happened? Just I to... honestly don't know. It just magically appeared when I was younger. Um, I'm assuming it's due to, like, school and the heavy backpack and just the constant hunching yeah. over being a student. Okay. Um, and the bad posture is what I'm assuming. Okay. Started it. You a full-time student? I am. Okay, so you're doing a lot of sitting. And yeah. A lot of, okay. Uh, does anything you do ever make it better or worse or? Um, exercising really helps. Um, like when okay. I'm playing tennis, that helps a lot. Um, okay. sitting for long periods of time makes it a lot worse. Okay. And that's just an achiness pain? An achiness. Sometimes it feels sharp. Um, and then there are times where I'll have like adult pain as well. Okay. And then does it radiate anywhere? Um, occasionally to my shoulders, but that's rare. Yeah. Okay. I can definitely tell that your left shoulder has been... It's like round four. Now this is exaggerated, okay? It doesn't look exactly like yeah. that. It looks more like this. Okay. Okay. Let's see that the left shoulder is also higher. Okay, right foot's kind of winging it out a little bit. All right, I'll have you go ahead and turn and walk face away from me real quick. Okay. Yep, good. And I'm going to put my hands on your shoulders, yep. okay? Yeah, left high shoulder. Okay, I'm going to put my hands on your hips here real okay. quick. Okay. And your right high hip. Okay. Yeah, I can feel like it's really tight here. Yeah. Like it's just like okay, nothing down here, pretty much here. Mm-hmm. And it goes all the way up. It does. And it probably stops right about there. And then you got another more here. Okay. Alright, and so what I'm gonna have you do is go ahead and lay on the table, uh face up for me on your back. Ooh, really, really tight in here, huh? Yeah. Does that hurt a little bit? Um, I don't feel it hurting. It just feels tight right now. This is tight. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let me know if I push too hard. And okay. I'll, I'll, maybe I'll back off a little bit. Okay. And then you mentioned you play tennis. I do. How often do you play tennis? Um, I try it for three times a week. Three. Okay. Are you right hand dominant? I am. Right, okay. And how long have you been playing tennis? Um, since 2010, I think? 2010, yeah. 2010, okay. Feels really tight on this right side. It's looser on the left, right? Uh, still really tight here on Is the it? Yeah. I'd say it's about equal on both. Oh. Huh. Yeah, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and this side's definitely also more mobile. The left, or the left? This left side. Oh, okay. You can just see how much easier it is for your head just to kind of fold over my thumb. Mm-hmm. Like, it wouldn't really fold over like this on the right. So on the right, when I do it, Oh, okay. It kind of fights me a little bit, mm-hmm. and you have less mobility on this one. The muscle has in, just been in a spasm. Okay. So with the forward neck posture and the forward shoulders, you're really just yanking on this muscle. Mm-hmm. So the muscle is just under more stress. Um, so the only way we can fix that is by putting the head back okay. here instead of here. Okay. We want to try to shorten the muscle, because every time you pull your head forward and you try to duck your head, like let's say you're texting on the phone. Mm-hmm. You're just really straining the muscle, and the muscle is just is just trying to hold on for dear life. So what it just lengthens this muscle. The muscle has to contract to okay. try to hold on to your head. 
So the muscle's just overworked. That's all it is. That's all this means is that this is just working harder than it just should. Got it. So it just creates scar tissue over time. And this could even be from previous injuries. Who knows? When you serve in tennis, you know, jerking your head. Yeah. That's usually, you know, what I would think would cause something like this to be this far up into the skull. Uh -huh. Would just be when you have to quickly move your head. Because you're really going to jerk it. You're yeah. really going to jerk it. This one okay? Yep. Can you draw it? Okay. Yep. Okay. okay. Try one more time. There it goes. Okay. There it is. I have had previous ankle injuries. I don't know if it makes a difference in the adjustments, but I think mean, they're healed now, but they never really, I guess, healed the same. But not broken? No, no, not broken at all. Just, was, just sprained? It's sprained, yeah. How severely? Um, it was, let me show you, it's it's weird, because like, for example, right here, there's like an extra bump that was never supposed to be here, right. Right, you see that, but it's, it's on both feet, because I like, what happened was I kind of twisted and fell like that on my foot. Okay. Yeah. How long, how long ago? It was definitely a while ago. The latest one was last March, 2022, I think. Okay. But, I mean, they're fully healed now, I just, yeah, I don't know if I that's something it's... I should be worried about, or if that's... If they're on both sides, did you sprain both ankles? I did. Oh my god. No, one at a time, one at a time. Okay, I'm just, but not at the same time. No, I don't okay. know why. When I'm hiking, that's apparently when it decides to go, I can't walk. Okay. Yeah. Because, yeah, I had a I had a similar injury. Oh, okay. But it's it's fine. If they're, once they've healed, yeah, they're fine. If anything, this will help it. You just got to be careful not to re-injure the ankle again. Uh-huh. Because the structure is never the same once it's injured. Exactly, yeah. Trying to get a good grip on it. There it is. Oh, <laughs> oh that one, yeah. Woo. <laughs> that was a lot. Okay. Good. Okay, good. Really stuck on this yeah. right side. Same thing here. Well, yeah, more on your left. Deep breath. breath in. Good. Okay. Doing all right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Love it. It's one of the greatest devices ever. What is it? So that's one of the greatest devices ever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, this really lets us dig. I'm 
definitely helps us break apart some of this tissue in here before we go in there with our elbows. Yeah. It helps us get like a little bit of a head start. Ooh. Man, that little back mid the lower back is not happy with you. Yeah, it it, it feels like it never moves. Okay. I think since I've broken it up a little bit here, you know, I'm gonna have you cross both your arms, just put them right over your um your forehead for me. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna actually take this one. Alright, take a deep breath for me. Good. And then out. Keep breathing out, don't stop. Now you catch up. One more. There we go. Good. Good, I got something to move in there finally. Alright, go ahead and relax. Yeah, we're just gonna put, go ahead and put your feet together for me here again. Okay. Yeah, good. I'm just gonna reach underneath. Okay. You let me know if, if it gets uncomfortable, okay? Okay. Alright, go ahead and take a deep breath for me. One more time. Okay, good. That's it. Alright. I felt the move. Couldn't hear much, though. I felt it, yep. Feels all nice. Nope, except for that little piece right there. This rhomboid, not a good sign, though. Yeah, that's where the pain's always been. There's like a, a, like a trigger point on both sides. Yeah, this is not... Ooh. Yeah, this is from sitting. It is from sitting? Mm -hmm, this here, yeah. And carrying the backpack.
Am I pushing too hard in your right? No, that feels great. Okay. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, I'm sure you can hear that. Yep. It's like dud. <laughs> Fee fi fo fum. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. <sighs> Okay, I'm going to do a rough one here. Just uh, I'm going to have you take a deep breath in for me. Okay. And we're going to do five seconds. Okay, okay ready? Deep. All right, and go. Okay. feeling right there yeah yeah okay we're just gonna wait for this motorcycle to pass okay yeah oh what is that that feels weird now this is scar tissue oh that's scar tissue okay mm -hmm. and I'll give you a brief explanation why this is here, why I think it's here. Mm -hmm. So when you serve with your right arm for tennis, mm -hmm. you really reach back, mm -hmm. and then you're swinging. Yeah. So you're really cranking on this side of your back, mm -hmm. on this right side. And that's why this is in here. How do you realize that? So yeah, my back can, I don't know why, but my back is stronger, but everywhere else is like tender. Mm-hmm. Like there, ooh. You right here? Yeah.
Yeah, you're getting a little bit coming yeah. out of your here. That side's good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, need like a belt to chew on. Oh, yeah. Now that's from tennis. <laughs> this, I know I said this one was a no, no. no this is definitely yeah. Because this is your right side dominant, so this is definitely yeah. from from all that. Jeez. You know we call it the peck punch mm -hmm. when you've had to fast twitch it. Yeah. That's what this is. That's what. Oh. Deep breath. I'm gonna do one more, just two, okay. two more cleanings, and then we're I'm, no, done you're, you're, with, I'm done with the thumb. I'm just preparing. Okay. Yeah, you're good. You're right, good. Right. I'll give you a breath. You're good. Take a break. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. All right, deep breath. Okay. Another deep breath. Okay, good. Ooh. Sit up straight as you can. Head back. Good. Relax the shoulder though. Relax this. Relax the elbow too. Relax. I'm trying. It's like, <laughs> it's like relax. I don't know how to do that. No, I get it. I think it's relaxed. Okay. Yeah. I think so too. Okay. Go ahead and just push back with just the elbow. There you go. You got it. You're going to turn your head towards this shoulder and then look back. Yep, good. Oh, yeah. All right, other side. All right, all right, and then just go ahead and take a deep breath for me. Oh, that one felt good. It feels like there's one more on this on side. On this side? Yeah. Try it one more time. Okay. Breath in. And out. Did I get it? Uh, no. No? No. Oh, man. Okay. What I can do is I can just 
sit on it. That's where it is, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then out. Let's try, let's try again up this one. Okay. Deep breath in. Is that even moving it or no? I, I feel it moving a little bit, yeah. Breath in. And out. Yep. Oh, man. <laughs> I felt that. Did I get it? Yeah. Okay, did we get it? It was a team effort. It was a team effort. Oh, jeez. Awesome. Okay. Good. And you're going to start right about there. Yep. And then head back. Yep. And then if that's too easy, go ahead and bend the knees. Good. And then if that's too easy, you can bring the arms over your head. If that's too difficult, you can bend the elbows and have them by your side like this. Or you can just go ahead and bring them down by your sides. Okay. Okay. But ideally, I would want them over the head. Okay. Because what this is going to help do is have the shoulder drop back into its natural position. Okay. So it's going to help with this forward shoulder position. It's going to help bring them back here to help open up this chest. All right, you can go ahead and roll off, so go ahead and bring your arms up, and then roll. Oof. Yep. Cool. Watch out for the pedals, yeah. Yep. Okay. All right, go ahead and get up. All right. How do you feel? Good. Really good. Now go ahead and try, try again, try the range of motion. Feels better. To see if, it's, if you feel tightness happening still, because like it's catching in there. Um... No, this one, this one's definitely like loose, like completely loose. Okay. Um, this one again is just the rib head, but again, that's gonna be work. Um, but everything feels looser. Yeah. 